Hello everyone, it is Toby here, back for another episode of uh, Minecraft The Lord of the Rings, and we just got invaded by Rundar Hillman just as before I started recording, so I'm trying to run away with all my dogs, and I've got some coins to put in my pouch, because I also got attacked by a bandit as I was setting up the recording. So, yeah, that's fun. So my aim for today is to get out of the Lone Lands, get to the Ford of Bruinen, over into Rivendell, as quickly as I possibly can and essentially I reckon today may be a shorter episode I don't know depends how it goes because I'm feeling extraordinarily tired golden ale horn I don't need that but like yeah it's I'm, I'm extremely tired I've got a lot of work to do for tomorrow and the week ahead so yeah I've got to get this video done edited and uploaded today and then I will be satisfied with the fact that I've got a um, Minecraft The Lord of the Rings episode out this week. Because I know you guys have been asking for it in the comments. So I had to satisfy, essentially. Because that is why most of you are subscribed on my channel. However, I do have to say thank you for the support I have got been getting on my LEGO Lord of the Rings series. It's been going well. You guys seem to really quite enjoy that uh, to an extent. So... Yeah, it's gaining some views every episode. Some people watch it, some people don't. I'd recommend you do go and watch it if you like this series. It's quite fun. Uh, but I need to get some more videos of that recorded and scheduled. Otherwise, I'll run out of daily uploads, which is not going to be good. So I'm going to see how much I can get recorded tonight. And yeah, wow. God, what a view from up here. It's nice. It's very nice. Uh, we're going to ignore that house down there. We're essentially going to make it as quick as we can to the Ford of Bruinen and make our way across. I haven't listened to any more of that audiobook uh, for The Lord of the Rings yet. I just haven't had the time. I've been really, really busy um, with my life. I jumped on yesterday where I was going to record uh, a load of stuff. I jumped on stream with uh, Fluff over on Twitch and I streamed a bit of me building the starts of a Isengard in... Um, vanilla Minecraft and it turned out looking I mean so far okay not particularly great just because you don't have any black stairs and slabs which would have been really useful so I ended up using nether brick and it just wasn't the right color had it have been the correct color I reckon it would have looked quite good uh, but since it wasn't it just looked a bit off and strange so I don't think I'm gonna be finishing that one but I do really want to do some more Lord of the Rings builds in the future in the future because um, I've already done a Hobbit hole and I did a tutorial on that uh, on my channel. And I thought that went brilliantly. It's one of my favourite builds that I've done. Uh, so I, I want to work on some more typical Lord of the Rings Hobbit style um, buildings. So yeah, they, they will be quite a fun thing to do. But just like the annoying thing about normal Minecraft is the block selection doesn't give you the options that Lord of the Rings supposes because on here like you have so much stuff to work with block wise especially when we get to the blocks which are here like you've that's perfect like a tumno tiling Isengard material essentially and all this glass and stuff like you could use that for Isengard all the different color woods the fences this uh, Mordor gravel like all of that Got like them, especially black clay tiling and the Tumno stuff. Oh, they'd be brilliant for Isengard and this stuff as well. Angmar's stuff. That especially, Obsidian, Teradian. Yeah, that would be perfect. But like, there's so much more stuff and of course that always lags when we go over the spawners. But yeah, it's like, there's so much stuff in this mod pack you could use to build structures from Lord of the Rings. But I wouldn't want to do it in a mod pack. Not in a mod, in a mod, in a mod that already has built a lot of the structures, like a lot of generic structures, like hobbit holes and stuff. Because personally, the hobbit holes in this, I don't think are particularly accurate. They're not like they're completely half spherical, which doesn't really capture what they're like in the films and stuff. But I assume this isn't based off the films. This is based more off the books, but. Still, it's just kind of like, I don't, that's not what I envision Hobbit Holes to be like, just perfectly spherical, because I envision them not to be like, 
not that they built the hill that they're in, but that they found a hill and they dug into it is how I envision it. Anyway, what do we have here? Grey wizard, coins, arrows, gold. Bandit. Dogs. Dogs get him because he stole all my stuff. Well, he didn't steal all of it. He stole some of my stuff. The dogs will get him. There we go. Thanks, dogs. It's always good when your dogs help you out, isn't it? Right, let's get the coin pouch. God, we fill up on coins really quick. Um, gold and skull cup. What else was in there that we have? Uh, not a great thing. Leather. Yeah, no, none of that. None of that's really that useful. God, my. No! We don't want to be invaded. This is exactly what happens when you're in the Lone Lands. Run away as quick as you can. Oh my god, this terrain is like the worst for being invaded on. Let's get out of there. Let's skedaddle. Lickety split like out of there. I need some Ruskabel rabbits, is what I need. Right. I think we've managed to outrun them. Which is good. That's always a good thing. This thing's only on limited durability, so that's going to break soon. Hopefully we'll be able to uh, reimburse ourselves with a new weapon. Which I'm sure I've got plenty of in my equipment pouch. Yeah, look, I've got plenty... Plenty of weapons. Oh, the axe. That's quite cool. But I think it'll be the Mordor Warhammer I go with. Or the Dwarven Battle Axe. I don't know. We'll have, a, we'll have a see. Hopefully I can find some more good weapons in uh, Rivendell. Which will be brilliant. I haven't actually ever visited Rivendell in this mod pack yet. Which is something I really want to do. It's one of those things where it's like Rivendell would be so cool to see that I really, really want to see it. So, yeah, that should be good. How far are we? We're really not far at all, which is great. We'll just have to cross the river when we get there, cross the ford. So hopefully it's relatively shadow, sh shadow? Relatively shallow, because it is a ford. I don't know how it works like that. But I do really want to get into Rivendell quick and explore it this episode. And then we can move off out past Rivendell and up into the Misty Mountains and across. And just explore, really. Because uh, I'm still wanting to, like, maybe, yeah, go through here and do this bit. And then go down Mordor and Gondor and Rohan. And really skip out Angmar and stuff like that just because... I've done them before and I don't feel like getting killed. So yes, where we have been to Mordor and stuff before, I want to go there again just because I can when I'm en route there. But I don't want to go to Angmar and stuff when I've been there before and it's like, yeah, they're cool but there'd be a hassle going out of the way and stuff to get there. So. If you want to see me like explore pretty much everything for the first time, if I can, then just go ahead and watch the old series. Because I'm assuming most of you who watched this series started by watching the old series and carried over to this one. And yeah, I mean, so all of this is probably a little familiar, but it's just different, the style I'm doing it. Because I think after I've done this series, I'm going to go back and do a similar to the old series series. I don't really know what I'd do with this mod pack after this series, after I've explored everything as if it's just me in the world, because maybe I'd just switch it up and have like a mission I give myself, and I don't really want any of that stuff. But it is night time, so I'm going to sleep so we don't get any orcs. That dog. Oh my god. <laughs> Thanks for caring for me dogs but you really don't have to we haven't smoked our pipe in a while have we there we go it's always good right how far are we now okay we're right on the border 
will be there in no time, which is brilliant. I can't wait to explore Rivendell because elves are cool. So yeah, uh, that would be high elves, I'm assuming, yeah. Yep, yeah, high elves. So we'll, we'll switch to high elves for when we get there. They like us, which is good. Not as much as the Dunedain like us, but hey-ho. But yeah. I'm getting really bored of the Lone Lands, and I'm sure you guys are as well. So it'll be really nice to have a change of scenery. And hopefully if we can find some raw fish, um, we'll be able to go tame Gollum as well in the Misty Mountains. Because I remember looking for him last time and it being quite difficult to find him. So hopefully we can look for Gollum and tame him and he can come along with our pack of dogs rather than just stay at home and party. This looks like a river, but it's not. It's just a lake. So... This isn't the ford by the looks of it. So I think I'll just sort of channel around the outside rather than cross it yet. Because swimming is honestly a pain. So let's see how we can like sort of skirt around the outside look. Yeah, see look, here's a good place to cross because it's shallow and there's not much to go. See, look, initiative, that's how you use it. <laughs> you use it well, like that. Right, so. What do we have here, then? How far are we? We're right on the border. And there's a path as well, so we can get to that and follow that. Hey! That over there looks like Rivendell. So I want to get to the path, so I'm going to ignore that. So, Rivendell, we say hello to. If we crest this, this should be quite a cool view. That looks certainly different. And there's the river. So I'm assuming the path is not on top of there, hopefully. Or is that it? I hope not. Well, I'm going to cross over here in the sort of more shallow bit. So, yeah. You know, I think the path is up there. I don't want to have to ascend a giant thing. Maybe it's down straight down the middle of there. But yeah, I've never been into Rivendell before. This biome didn't exist when I started doing my last series. So I've probably been to the location it was. Like the location it was meant to be in. But I've never actually been to Rivendell whilst it's been there. Because it was one of those biomes that they created after I started my series. So yeah, look at that. You can just hear the elven music, you know, the music of the Fellowship entering Rivendell playing. Imagine that. What a sight. So yeah, hopefully we find a path and we can stick to that. Oh, don't look into the sun. Really annoyed that there's such a high cliff. Hey, there's some elves. There is indeed some elves. Hello. How do I not have an achievement? Okay, so if we go into L. So the path's over there, apparently, now. There we go, the Hidden Valley. Yeah. Okay, so over there is where we need to go for the path. Which is good, because it's slightly more flat. Hello. I wonder what elves think of dogs. I love Annen. I love Annen to you, too. 
But hey, Rivendell. There's the path as well. So there's a screenshot for the thumbnail. The path and a building. Rivendell crafting, okay. Don't have one of them yet, so that can go in the crafting pouch. We've got an Elven Forge, I'm pretty sure. Uh, workstation pouch. There we go, that can be added to the collection. Elven steel we have, gold we have. Cool. Let's get to the path. And explore Rivendell. For a bit. Let's just keep going. It's nice to be back on a path after so long in the Lone Lands. Like in a nice, calm, invasionless, banditless environment. <laughs> right, here's a house we can raid coming up ahead. Two of them actually. Hopefully they'll have more Lembus because I'm running a little short. Right, so it looks like like it's very similar to Linden. It's just got slightly differing things. Banners. What's this? Rivendell chest plate. Just a normal Rivendell chest plate. Gold ring. Lasting Rivendell helmet. Just normal Rivendell boots. A quest. Two birch saplings. Not have them. How would easy would they be to get? Birch tree up there. I can't be bothered, honestly. That's Limbus. No, don't eat them. Tom Bombadil. Another Tom Bombadil book. We have one. Pick it up anyway. Cool. Well, there we have it. We have a lot more to explore in Rivendell and we can just cross Rivendell and make our way up onto the high pass hopefully I mean actually if we if we really want to we'll go to the we'll sort of head up there and rejoin the path because I don't really want to try and traverse the misty mountains off the path I feel like that could be very challenging oh hello Ooh, some Edhilmir I'll hold on to that don't want a dagger, some of the dagger legs. Normal legs. Hello. Of the king. Oh, that sounds interesting. Dolor and Dull Sword. Bread. New book. 20 pages. Yeah, I'm not reading that. I heard I saw Baron and Luthien in there. Maybe it's this tale of Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm not going to read that one. It's too long. If you want to read it, you can Google it. We're, re we're really filling up this pouch. Well, there we go. Rivendell. Really quite a nice place. And so much nicer than the stupid Lone Lands, which I'm glad to be behind of. Because honestly, it was tough. And this is definitely going to be a shorter episode. It's probably going to be right around half an hour, 25 minutes long. And that's just because time is a thing that I do not have at all. So hello, dagger. What's this? Spear. Alrighty. What do we have here? A bit of Limbus. Nothing else of importance. Cool. Now we're just speed running people's houses for stuff. Which, you know, it's how you do this game. In the way I play it, anyway. So it just seems to be, like, very, very similar to Linden, just with big hills. Hardy. Ooh. What's this? Just a gold ring. Lasting. We, we really want one that, like, increased protection. And stuff like that. More Lembus. Yeah, none of that. 
can we escape out the window no we actually have to go back downstairs and these dogs oh my god there's another house down here we can raid but yeah these mountains are cool like Rivendell it's just a valley surrounded by mountains arrow we've got a stack of arrows how good is that Lasting thick soled Rivendell boots. Well these these are lasting thick, so we can replace our our old Linden boots with them. Hardly know. So we've already made a replacement, which is good. Cool, so we're upgrading our gear. And I've now have lasting thick soled boots and I forget where's the path? I think it's over here. somewhere yeah there it is right well Rivendell we'll just follow this path until we reach the end of the path and then we'll head sort of northeast out of uh, Rivendell in the next episode make it onto the Misty Mountains hopefully I can't tell you when that will be but it won't be exactly long it will be decently short and here's a building to raid. Oh, it's a big one as well. Lots of food, I hope. Uh, lots of Limbus. More Limbus. More Limbus bread. Uh, is there anything upstairs in these? No, because I fell down. A lot of Rivendell banners. You're in my way. Not much. So it's just Lembus bread, Lembus bread, and more Lembus bread. Lenath Hamli to you too. So yeah. Hopefully we can stock up our Lembus bread supplies so we won't run out of food for ages. Which is good. And we can rejuvenate our armor to be a lot better. So that also be good. And maybe we'll have a weapon upgrade because we've got a strong Linden bow. So if we can get like a really good Rivendell bow, that'll replace that. And hopefully our uh, Warhammer gets uh, replaced with something. But it's these big buildings that have loads of Lembus bread in. Which is good. So small ones are for weapons and armor. Big ones are for Lembus bread. So we'll go for that one. Then that one. Then that one. Oh god there's loads. That one. God there's a lot. Well we'll see. We'll just start raiding houses around. Lembus. Uh, arrows. Yeah no no Lembus in there. In there. Right so we'll go to this house. We won't raid those ones. We'll just go down there. Just because I don't want to spend so much time looking through places. Arrow. Daggers are like, yeah. They don't do too much. Um, yeah, nothing much. Lembus. Didn't mean to eat it, but whatever. Cool. Next house along. It's down here. Hello, hello. What do you have to give me? If I give me, I mean, let me steal. Lasting sword. Don't care for durability. These boots. Tough, thick sword. Plus one protection. Well, they're better than those ones. So I'll put the lasting thick sword back. Tough, thick sword is even better. So that's good. Uh, punching Rivendell bow. Ooh. So ours is strong, so does that. Okay, so that one is knocked back. This one is extra damage. I think I'll take the extra damage over knocked back, sadly. But there we go. And then here's the next house to raid. And after we raid that house, I'm going to end the episode because my voice does kind of hurt. Blunt, that's not good. My voice kind of hurts, and I need to get, like, 
this edited and uploaded today. And I've got lots of work to do. So it's going to be of a bit of a shorter one, I'm afraid. But I'm sure you guys won't mind. You guys love this series. So that's good. Um, one thing I wanted to mention is I recently remembered that I had a Patreon page. And uh, I have one Patreon. That's my good friend, the Lunatic. And I thank him immensely for pledging $1 a month to me. Because that has built up. That has built up over time. And I've managed to um, increase... Like, not increase, but... I've managed to, like, buy, buy... That's what I use to essentially buy Lego Lord of the Rings. And, ooh, yeah, we, get, we did a quest. Ooh, we got a medium... Medium pouch. Ooh. We'll keep that because it's blue and it looks cool. So if we get a small pouch, we can combine that with that. But yeah, essentially, uh, that built up. And that was what allowed me to buy Lego Lord of the Rings and Lego The Hobbit. So I ask you, please, if you want to pledge that much a month. Or more a month or less a month. God, that's 20 pages wrong. That's why we just did this one. We did. They don't stack, so I'm not going to collect it. Uh, but yeah, if you want to pledge any sort of amount to me, that would be greatly appreciated. And of course, if you don't want to or you don't have the money to, please don't. Because it's not my place to like do that to you guys. But if you want to, go ahead. I'm not going to make you, but I'm also not going to tell you not to, if that makes sense. Do I have a ranger hood in my equipment pouch? No, I didn't think I would. But yeah, essentially that's that's the deal. I have that. That's the thing you can do if you wish. Where's the path gone? Oh, I reached the end of it. Oh, well, there we go. We'll start heading northeast. But yeah, just putting it out there, there's a link to that in the description of every video, I'm pretty sure, and a link on my channel. So if you guys want to do that, that would be really much appreciated. I could buy new games, buy better equipment, better mic, better headset, you know. Stuff that will really help me with uh, video quality and recording and stuff. Maybe even buy a face cam or something, I don't know. But that's the thing that you guys can do. So I'm just putting it out there if you want to do that. Feel free, go ahead. That would be brilliant. And there are rewards on there. Uh, such as like, if you, I think it's $1 a month, you can have like... Uh, a DM conversation with me on Twitter or on Discord or something of that respect and the re rewards stack as they go ahead. So, yeah, feel free to do that. But it's I, I don't think it's really about the rewards for me. They're just sort of an arbitrary thing. For me, it's more about supporting a creator that you like to watch. So, if you want to do that, feel free, go ahead. But if not, I'm not going to pressure you to or to not. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this slightly shorter episode. I just really am struggling with time to get videos recorded, edited, uploaded, as well as school. My exams are not long, so when they're over and done with, more videos will be happening. But apart from that, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Minecraft, the Lord of the Rings. We made it into Rivendell, and next episode we will be raiding these buildings up ahead here and making our way into the Misty Mountains. So I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.